when I moved to Liverpool, it wasn't in a football environment, but it was a footballing school that I was going to at the time. Someone called me over, got called the, the N-word, and then it kind of got into a little altercation after that. So yeah, that was the first time. At the time, I was pretty shocked. My decision was purely based on my experiences that I thought were unfair criticism. I just felt the wordings in these newspapers were kind of being written to basically give, give people an opinion of me. And I felt that was unfair to my, you know, my, um, my personality because they were, you know, profiling me wrong and I didn't think it was who I was as a person. My headlines were either regarding my wages, had the word bling in it, flashy, stereotyping, you know, individuals or black men. So, you know, I felt it was unfair. It's bad press that could have been avoided from, you know, I'd say um, lazy journalism. I just tried to make them aware that they need to be careful in what they're feeding to the public for the public to have a perception of people. You know, let the public see the person for who they, they truly are and not try to create, you know, like this blingy, flashy, money-driven person that you, you are, you're creating. And All I'm saying is we need, as a collective, to, to kind of take responsibility and know this is a new age where, you know, colour doesn't define who you are in, in society and how you are looked upon in this life and shouldn't be. Discrimination is discrimination. It doesn't matter you know, if it's sexuality, if it's your colour. I feel like it's increasing, especially in our sport. It needs to go way back to schools and educating people in schools and, you know, getting that barrier down. Don't judge a race from what you've heard or from what you've, you know, people talking about in the past and from generation. I don't feel a lot of people, you know, do come into contact with a, a lot of different cultures and I think just being more open to receive that blessing from other people's cultures because, you know, once you learn about other people's cultures, it's so so amazing to, to be able to connect with other people and I think that's what we need to do as a society. All I can do is try to, you know, voice my concern and hopefully the other players as well. You know, people start listening and people start doing things that can actually benefit not just us, but, you know, football and society. I'm Raheem Sterling and I support the UN's Fight Racism campaign.